Hello everyone, it's Cassie with Cassie's Candle Creations and I want to help you with a little um, cheat that I use. Uh, as you know, as many of you know, that I, I use the shorter vessels um, and I, I trim my wicks. So then I wind up with a lot of um, pieces that are left over. Uh, even if you don't do it the way I do, you, you still trim your wick and then a lot of times you have a piece left over, the pieces left over. And then there are times um, if you've been doing this for a long time that you will know that that wicks become uh, there's a wick shortage they're hard to find so I learned in a couple of the past wick shortages how to take my pieces and some um, wick bottoms and make make wicks and use it use because I have hundreds of these these little pieces hundreds of them and so there's no need to waste them if I can use them um, I'm really big on waste not want not and um, use every bit that you can as long as it's used safely so I'm going to show you a quick way that I um, make these and use use them in other short vessels so let's get started okay so if you use a container that is short like, like some of these are um, if, if you do like I do when I am wicking these I literally will take and trim the wick a little taller than the vessel is because I'll have to trim it down afterwards too but I'll trim it and then I'll, I'll glue it but, but look there's a whole piece that is left over that is still tall enough to make another candle with. So I do not waste these pieces. I use all of these again, and, and then I will take these pieces and these, which I, you can find on Amazon, and, and I will create another wick out of what I just cut. I will just simply slide this through fold it down at the bottom just a little bit and then I'll take my pliers and I will pinch it and so now I have a whole nother wick that I can use and trim down for several different vessels um, I do this a lot for my for my 8 ounce tins this is definitely tall enough to use again in my eight ounce tins <clears throat> so um and i'm making pies later today so that's what i'm making these for so this is this is really easy you just slide it through and fold over the bottom get your pliers and these are some old pliers and just pinch it and then it it's good and solid, so you're not wasting a large piece of the wick. You're getting a double piece out of your wicks. So you're saving money, and you're getting a lot more for your money. And it's, like I said, it's really easy. You just take the little wick tab, slide it through, fold it over, pinch it with your pliers, and it is ready for you to hot glue or glue stickers or RTV down on your containers so it literally only takes moments to have dozens of wicks that you've made that are just as good as the these as far as adhering now the one thing is you will see that sometimes these will kind of bend up a little bit. This, this, these are aluminum, so they're so easy. You can literally just kind of straighten them back with your own fingers. And then if you, you glue them down, then the glue's going to sit all around it. The wick stickers are a little different, but um, I always use hot glue anyway. Um, the RTV, the, the red silicone, the high heat, it, it works wonderfully with these. And so literally, you can take all your short wicks that you've trimmed off and use them to create brand new wicks for other vessels that that only need a certain height of wick 
So I, I'm really big on waste not, want not. Plus with everything that has gone up, you want to try to save money as best as you can. And that's how I do it. It's um, really quick, really simple. You can take uh, the, the WIC tabs and the WIC and make um, bukus of them uh, really, really quick. A whole bunch of them. And, um, and that saves a lot of money. I mean, you're getting uh, essentially double for your wigs. So, um, you know, I'm big on saving money. <laughs> so I really hope this helps. It's a, just a short, quick video just to let y'all know that my um, book, Simply Soy, a primer for making soy candles is now out. Um, I'll put a link down below. So if you um, need a little extra help or guidance or, or some troubleshooting with um, with what's going on with your soy or you want to learn to make soy, please check it out. I'm very proud of it. Um, it's very easy, very simple to follow, pictures, step by step, all that. So thank you for watching and if this has been a help, I hope you will like and subscribe and come see me again. Y'all have a wonderful day. Thanks.